Bonjour, mon ami. Shazam 15 here. As you can tell from the crappy French accent, today's review has a little French feel. Essentially, it is the literary masterpiece of Alexandre Dumas, the great Three Musketeer. Okay, little point to start off with. This is neither, nor does it ever claim to truly be an adaptation of Dumas' novel. It takes some of the central concepts, it uses the same characters, but that, on the whole, is it. Basically, they took the basic storyline, they layered on extra layers, and weird stuff happened. Now, when you watch this film, you get a bit of a steampunky vibe. The reason because of this is because it uses technology that, although theoretically possible due to the fact that the prerequisite concepts existed in the 17th century, no one ever put them together to create those particular things. The case in point being the diving suit used by Adamus in a few scenes. Now, admittedly, it has been categorically proven that diving technology existed prior to this, but this is during the period where diving technology doesn't really exist. Essentially, the last time anyone gave it a shot was Leonardo da Vinci in the 15th century, I believe. Bear in mind, my knowledge of da Vinci's time is kind of yet somewhere in the Renaissance. Anyway, uh, yeah, what I was saying is, da Vinci was the last person to try it, which is kind of ironic considering they start the film going to find one of da Vinci's inventions. the fact that all of the musketeers have a clear theme, they have a clear physicality, and it's all good. I like that. I believe it is actually true to the spirit of the novel, but like I said, I've never... What I haven't actually mentioned is I've never read the novel, so I'm not 100% sure. Uh, oh yeah, the other steampunky element is something that is very familiar to anyone who loves the steampunk genre. Airships. And when we say airships, we mean literally Airships. They are galleons suspended by balloons. I have no idea how they're steering this thing. You also have black powder weaponry that has a rotating capacity to get over the reload time. Flamethrowers. It's very steam. It's very steampunky esque. It's not quite steampunk because it's the wrong period, but it's sort of 17th century steampunk. Anyway, uh, yeah, like I said, physicality. D'Artagnan is more or less the right age. This is new, this is good, this is brilliant, in fact. Because all too often, D'Artagnan is played by someone way too old. Anyway, uh, yes. I will admit, from the point of view of someone who uses a sword, albeit one of these. I noticed something somewhat odd about D'Artagnan. The understanding is that D'Artagnan has grown up in Gascon all his life. He has only ever fought... He has only ever crossed swords with his father. So, from the point of view of someone who understands that you need multiple opponents to develop counters to multiple techniques... How did he get so good? Ah, uh, Colonel Guards are a bit sloppy. Once again, this is me being a bit of a... me knowing how this sort of stuff really works. Albeit from an earlier period. Point is, anyone who's managed to ride to the Colonel Guard will be a lot better than that. They've just generally brought in grunts to do this job. Anyway, um... Yeah, what was it? Uh... Milady, very actiony. I like that. Buckingham, entertainingly villainesque. It's quite amusing. Um, yeah. 
I would actually ask anyone who does watch the film to work out which of the Musketeers or which cross of the Musketeers you are. I like to think of myself as a little bit Aramaeus, a little bit Athos. Anyway, uh, moving Christopher Leon. I like the whole young king loving his wife thing. That's nice. That's cute. Uh, the Cardinal is suitably villain-like. The Musketeers' uniforms are interesting. And I worry about the size of the King's Musketeers of the Guard. Oh yes, and as... Interestingly enough, unlike a usual Musketeer film, they actually do pick up black powder weapons. The only weird thing is at no point... They pick up what seems to be every black powder weapon known to man, but the one in the title and to be honest there is a sense in the film that Musketeer has essentially been confused with Chevalier mm. anyway does primary criticisms but basically it's just it's a let your brain go enjoy the explosions the humour, etc. kind of a film. It's not too bad, really, for that. Basically, don't go and expect an adaptation and enjoy the boom. And the swordplay. It blends them quite nicely, I think. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm sure there's something which I've forgotten, but that's always the case. Anyway, see you next week. TTFM.